our fellow classmate Josie, an aspiring OBGYN, was shadowing a group of doctors when all of a sudden she fainted mid tour. And after, luckily, she was surrounded by doctors, so they had to care her. But after getting multiple tests run, it was confirmed that Josie had fainted due to mono. So, how did she get mono? Starting in December, Josie had a boyfriend, and although we cannot confirm that he is the culprit, Mono has an incubation period that lasts four to six weeks until symptoms start to develop. So Josie recalls starting to feel symptoms in January, and that's exactly four to six weeks after December. So the timeline, her timeline of mono coming matches the timeline of the relationship. So pretty clear. Um, unfortunately, instead of getting the strand of mono that lasts for only a month, Josie got the strand of mono that lasted for six months. So therefore, Josie spent her senior year from February to July dealing with the dreadful effects of mono. During this time period, not only was her blood tested constantly to keep Josie's case getting her blood drawn, but also her relationships with the people surrounding her was tested. So Josie's parents grew a lot stricter due to her mono, so she couldn't go out as much. And she was also going through um, a lot of fatigue and tiredness, so a lot more sleep. Flash forward to prom night, April 9th, Josie and her boyfriend went to prom. April 10th, the next day, her boyfriend drove to her house and broke up with her. And Josie quotes that he couldn't even look her in the eyes. And so, therefore, that in the end, he just used her for a prom date because how would you break up with someone the next day? So then, um, a week later was Josie's birthday and Coachella. And Josie went. Um, with her mono to Coachella, and mono causes your skin to, and, uh, to, to swell up. So if someone hits your skin when it's swollen, it can burst and you, can, and you just die. So Josie, the entire time while listening to Coachella, like the music, she was worried that someone was going to hit her skin in like a mosh. And so she was worrying about her health, so she couldn't even fully just relax and let herself live it at Coachella. And so after hearing this entire story of Josie's struggle of um, senior year, I asked her, was there anything positive that came out of this? And luckily there was. So Josie got uh, a lot closer to her family because she was having to spend so much time at home. And furthermore, she didn't have to go, she had an excuse for certain events to miss out, like if she didn't want to go somewhere, she was like, oh, I can't. And she could use Mona as an excuse. And also she grew apart from friends that weren't necessarily true friends to her and had different interests. So she got a better feeling of who were her real friends. And also another thing is that it's rare to get mono again. So Josie is pretty much safe for college. Knock on wood. And uh, now Josie is a mono expert. So if anyone in here thinks they might have mono, has a friend, just ask Josie. She knows it all.